I love that older women are talking about their sex life and they because they also know not to date or marry these dudes. <laughs> My plan was to just have schmegs with men the rest of my life, but never marry or date them because they age you and ruin your life. So I love women talking about their schmegs life as they get older. You know, the only reason why I had such a good schmegs life in my 40s is because I heard other women in their 40s talking about it. So please, please write about your schmegs life. No, they have convinced us because I swear to God, it's a bunch of pedos who are running all the marketing campaigns and all of Hollywood and stuff. You know, they've convinced us that no man's going to want us. Y'all, okay, by the way, I'm in the French countryside at my husband's village he grew up in, and we were on a walk and came across all these horses and a pony. Look at this, this little pony. Look at you. Mm. Anyway, that's why I did it. If you watch that video that this is attached to, I'm talking about how I realized that if I write, being a writer, it talks about schmegs and relationships and stuff. That me doing that may have set, may possibly have set me up for never being dateable again, right? And I took that chance because it was more important for me to write and do what I love and tell stories because that's what, that's what I've always, it's, that's literally what I do. That's what I do. That is more important to me than being dateable. And here's the thing. I don't want to date anybody who's not okay with the high body count anyway. Like, I don't want to date a man in purity culture. By the way, I don't even know what my body count is. I don't, I mean, I, I have no, there's no, I don't even, I don't remember the names of most people I've slept with. And I love that about myself because it was just fun. Some of those experiences were very memorable. And a lot of them I did not write about. They're just, they live rent free in my heart as a good thing. Or more rent free in my plant, you know? But I swear they, they, they literally, they, they convinced us that we we're going to hit a wall. There is no wall. And someone left this comment on one of my other videos. Men are the wall. Men are, are the wall. Not only do they hit the wall more than we do, because they age so terribly. Don't take care of their skin. They smoke. They drink. They, um, they literally just do things for self-gratification instead of actually investing in their future, including their bodies. Yeah, they're obsessed with our bodies and how young they are and how pretty they are. And even though you got these raggedy old men who think that they deserve a 20 year old, partly because they want to just exploit her and think that she's dumb and want to take advantage of her because they know older women have probably been screwed over too many times to fall for their BS. But younger women are learning. That's why I make these videos. to warn younger women about how awful some, most of these men are. And honestly, women and their older women should be having great schmegs anyway, because older women know that like most men are not worth dating, definitely not marrying. And so like, have fun. I mean, honestly, that is, uh, it, it's, the irony is that I wasn't looking to get married and that's how I ended up married. And, I, and we got married for a lot of reasons. So I'm not even like pro marriage, but in terms of like just partnership, right? But most men are not worth marrying because they're gonna, they don't take care of themselves and they're going to turn you into a hospice wife and you're going to be taking care of them or worse yet, they will give you cancer because we know that women, that men are so, so stressful. Most men are so stressful because they are not, they never have went, gone to therapy or dealt with any of their trauma. Don't give, take care of their bodies. So we end up taking care of them and they end up slowly killing us while doing it. Oh my God. There's some drama behind me. That pony is a little bully. Pony, what? Leave him alone. And so I think older women actually, you know, there's no point in marrying most of these men. There's no, I mean, maybe partnering up with them and dating them, maybe. But honestly, at this point, a lot of older women should just be hey, getting laid and do a Golden Girls thing. That's what I don't, gosh, y'all, there's so much happening. Oh, look, there he is. He's, paid, he's chasing him. I wanted to be a Golden Girl. I wanted that because I was like, well, men just make women's lives worse because that was my experience. Women always enrich my life. I thought maybe I would be end up a golden girl with maybe some women or some gay men or, you know, non-binary or whatever. But cishet men, I gave up on them a long time ago. Oh, sorry. We had a, this drama with the horses. My dog wouldn't stop barking. Anyway, most men are parasites. They just take and take and take and take. So go have fun. Get late sometimes. I don't know. It's never too late to, late to step into your schmegual goddess stuff. But marrying them, even dating them... They're just going to take years off your life. Most of them, unless they've done a lot of work on themselves. Now having, my husband adds to my life so much. And you can tell I've glow, I've been glowing up since meeting him. But every man until him made me age, brought me stress, even cost me a lot of money. So now <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay. Bye horses. Bye pony. Even though you're a little mean.